what to do if if I'm overwhelmed with committing shirk right so I'm gonna be frank here um, if you're feeling like you've been committing shirk and overwhelmed firstly let's look at shirk really quickly shirk is to say someone is God or a part of God or divine or to say someone has the qualities of God like God has infinite power infinite knowledge these sorts of things or that they share divinity with God right that they share uh, this uh, you know like uh, the control of the universe or somehow something like this or that they deserve worship so basically saying it comes down to saying is some someone is God or like God or they have the rights that God has to worship these sorts of things that's basically what shirk is and that's the understanding you'll, you'll get in the Quran that's the understanding uh, that is criticized uh, in Islam the theologians had a few other discussions and they looked at it in a more nuanced way but this is basically what you're going to come down to this is not something Muslims do right someone who believes in la ilaha illallah Muhammad al Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam does not believe this and <coughs> it's the unfortunate issue is many people uh, just casually start listening and taking a deen from social media or they will listen to people who don't have a grounding in Islamic theology there's a whole tradition as in in the um, in the previous class I mentioned, for example, we studied the Akhidah of uh, say Imam Al-Tahawi, Abu Ja'far Al-Tahawi, who studied with uh, his teacher Abu Ja'far Ahmad ibn Abi, Abi Imran, and he studied with, and this name escaped me earlier and it escapes me now, uh, it's a, he's a famous faqih student of Imam Muhammad ibn Hassan al-Shaybani, that name's not here right now, but I, I do have access to it anyway and then who studied with Abu Hanifa and Abu Yusuf and you know Hamad ibn Abi Sulaiman, Ibrahim al-Nakhai, Al-Qama ibn Qais, Abdullah ibn Masood and Ali ibn Abi Talib and then the Messenger of Allah so there's a whole chain so this is how deen is taken and how beliefs are understood right you learn with someone who has you know a, a proper understanding of the methodology of mainstream Islam al Jama'ah and the problem is that when you listen to someone that doesn't ascribe to this and they can say the Quran and the Sunnah and everything whatever but the unfortunate result of such listening is that they make people think that anything and everything is shirk I've had some people coming and thinking that you know the, you know yeah I sneeze three times and is that shirk you know or something like that you know it's just really you know like wild things and they think it's shirk when it's not shirk right? shirk is saying someone else is God someone else is like God has the authority of God deserves worship so if you're feeling overwhelmed then anyone that's talking about shirk in any other way than this you know don't listen to them as I what did I say I just said this in the class that I finished just pay attention to this in one of uh, the last things the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam <coughs> just just before he passed away narrating in Sahih al-Bukhari he said uh, I don't fear for you into I don't fear that you're going to fall into shirk I'm not I don't fear that you're going to start worshiping others besides Allah the messenger of Allah who was shown so many things of the future who has shown the state of the Ummah and he's not worried about this for us and he's speaking to people who lived in the Arabian Peninsula most of them had just left shirk right left idolatry and worship you know came into the Tawheed and if he's not worried about them returning he said well like in the alaykum dunya and tanafasuha but he said rather I'm I'm concerned that you're gonna go start you know competing with each other over the dunya so if the Messenger of Allah wasn't concerned about shirk like this and you know the your local khatib or whoever you're listening to you know is making you think that if you know if you brush horizontally instead of vertically uh, you, brush, you brush your teeth like that is shirk or whatever right um, don't listen to them that's one aspect and secondly most people who fall into this uh, are afflicted with OCD obsessive compulsive disorder and 
yes, some understanding can help a person with OCD uh, and give, give them confidence and clarity. But the real solution is they need some form of therapy to help them get past this. Otherwise, um, there are they can ask a million questions and it will not satisfy them. So if you are feeling overwhelmed by shirk and oh my God, have I committed shirk or I did shirk and astaghfirullah forgive me, oh, my Lord, and then the, I did shirk again. You know, if they have this kind of attitude, go and learn. Take a course that we have on belief. Learn that belief and forget everything else. Right? Shirk is not something easy. It's like you don't you don't find a vegan, you know, just accidentally having a steak. Do you a beef steak? Right? It's it's a lifestyle choice. So the shirk is also this, you know. So um, don't worry about it. Don't listen to the sources you're listening to, because they they're causing you, you doubts. If you need some therapy, go do it. Spend some money and spend that with the intention of healing it'll be an act of worship right you know getting better so you can worship allah better without doubts an act of worship right and do that okay uh and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best right <clears throat> let me come to some of these so I keep asking them that you know there's a lot of questions here that i've answered and uh, from, from the same people right in the last week and the week before on gaming so i'm just going to refer you back to them because the answers are going to be the same uh, or uh, other similar things okay um La ilaha illallah, Muhammad,